Sort na shift ko guys. It's 8.25 a.m. And coffee muna. So guys, we had a first ever meeting with my friend, um, business partners. Actually, uh, we're having this type of business na event services. Um, so I will be putting here your Facebook page naman for you to see. So, bago pala kasi very fresh pa siya guys. We start planning this one last year and then um, we're trying to execute this uh, this 2022 and we're glad now we're having or we are getting our first client guys for an intimate civil wedding planning guys. And yun nga, um, nag-meeting kami zoom kanina uh, to discuss about sa uh, plano namin and we're happy yeah it's a good news kasi uh, beginning of the year and we're getting first client although yung wedding would be by the end of this year or probably next year but still good diba kasi we are locking in with our first client and it's unbelievable kasi January pala meron na kaming booking and I'm hoping, we are really hoping na meron pang mga kasunod dyan na clients. So, yan.
brainstorming ako for about an hour um there and nag come up ako ng ganitong template uh, guidance ko for each month na magkano nga ba yung dapat isisave ko yung goal ko, one yung deadline so ito, makikita nyo for my emergency funds, yung deadline ko to save up for 90,000 would be by April and then for my medical funds guys, of course, it's my number one priority Medical funds would be um, 19,000. 19, uh, sorry, 10,000. And that would be by April. So, next would be for my first son's birthday. That would be on June. But I can start saving from it by May. Kasi matatapos ko lang masave yung mga emergency and medical funds by April. So, I can start saving by May for my son's birthday. Actually, it's gonna be his 10th birthday, guys. Um, next would be car insurance. Uh, car insurance, I think makakapag-save kami. No, no. We spent last year 5,000, I guess. So, for that 5,000, I'm gonna save it up and have to complete it by June. So, the first and second quarter of the year 2022 yun yung mga savings goals ko guys um yeah I, i'm not sure saan ko pa nakuha yun? ah okay yung technique na to guys or yung ganito classing technique i got it from Aja Dang um i've been following her for how many months na ba? no no years na pala since 2018 ko ata siyang pina-follow so just tried her her way um ang tawag dito is snowball savings yung snowball kasi yung ibig sabihin is one time um mo siyang isi-save or meaning mag-focus ka for one saving na if fully funded siya so that's what i'm doing for the first quarter of this year uh to fully funded my emergency funds our emergency funds uh, to complete it by April and once fully funded na siya guys, moving on or moving forward naman kami for the next savings ko. So last year kasi yung ginawa ko I'm doing it like um yung emergency funds namin, I have to complete it by November or ganon. So I'm just saving around 7,500 each month at that time guys then um well, I'm glad that I almost complete that one. And now we're doing it again for this year, but this time doing it in a snowball method. Um, kasi last year, what I, uh, other than the emergency funds, I'm also doing the other funds. Medical, Christmas funds, um, car, kumbaga parang, tigi-tigi ko siyang sinisave, guys. And I think that method, um, it works fine. Okay lang naman. But I wanna try the snowball method for now, guys. So, I will explain it on the other video if you are interested on the savings method that I'm doing right now. So, that's it. That's it for now. So, that's... I'm just glad kasi meron na akong kumbaga um, overview on how it's gonna be, where I'm going to be, what will be my savings when will be my deadlines and etc ganon so it's easier i'm just gonna continue i guess what I, what should i be doing else i think i'm gonna clean up our room 
Yun lang. Let me see, nakapangtulog pa ako. Because I'm just comfortable in doing this one. Okay? I'll see you around, guys.